Hello folks and welcome back to Vintage Survival. Here we are, we've just finished off the contract work that we started in the last episode, so let's go and complete that, because we've got a few things to do. We've accepted another contract for barley, so what we need to do is, as per the rules, transfer money over, so transfer a grand over. There we go. Also, what I'm going to do whilst we're here is just go and repair some of our equipment. I'm not going to repaint here, like two grand to repaint this. I'd rather not, thank you very much. But yeah, so we got a few things to do, got those contracts to do. And I accepted the Bari one, because I want to get chickens this episode, so... Actually, if we have a look here, go to our animals. So you do have some options for chicken pens. We have for like four and a half grand. I know that is a significant chunk of our money. But we're looking at like around five grand at the moment. Do we place it here now or do we want to do a bit of landscaping? I'll try a little bit of terraforming. As long as it ain't too expensive. What? No. Uh, uh, no. That is too expensive for us, so we'll leave it at that. So let's go and just place the chicken sound anyway. So, chicken pens, chicken pasture. You know what? That will do us. So, something like that. There we go. So, actually, how much will it be for the chickens? Actually, how much will it be for a bag of chicken feed? So, bag of wheat. Oh, chicken food. 600 quid for 600 litres. So, let's say get two bags for the time being. And actually, I'll leave the leader on, on the back because I can be as a little ballast. And we've got a concrete weight in that. But I think fair enough we should be able to lift them anyways without it, but I want to get the weeding done as well today so that I don't use lose any more year bonus from our soybean fields. Because that is going to be an important crop for us when it comes to harvesting it in around June or July. Let's go and grab this. And then, yeah. Put our chickens in. Let's see how much money we can get. So, we've got a combine there already. That's all ready to go. So, I've left the engines on. Oops. I nearly stabbed myself. So yeah, I want to grab both bags. Only we grab the one bag. Two bags, please. So there we go. Got the one bag. Can we just slide that other bag on? Please. There we go. Should have done with one bag. But since we're going across, so should be fine. Clear, clear, so we'll go. Nope, nope. Yep. Yeah, should have had that weight on, but. Anyways, let's go and grab the chicken, so. We won't. I think we've got 13 grand at the moment, so. You know what? I think, heck it. Let's get 60 chickens in. There we go. That 
is a significant chunk of our money, but I think at the moment it's worth it. Where is the feeding point? I do not know. Looks like it's there on our left, so... Yeah, should have put the weight on. This is just going absolutely swimmingly, so there we go. One bag is going in, and how much is that? Ooh, not a lot, so... I'm hoping those 60 chickens don't require too much, because... Yeah, that will be interesting. Last thing, that's why it's up to the Bari contract, so when we get that contract completed... Any leftover barley we will keep for ourselves. So yeah, I think with all that done, let's start doing the weeding. So go, just pop that there. And yeah, this is a small weeder than that. It's not it's all about size, it's how you use it. And that's your saying go, so go. It's about, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tractor's width, so should be fine. And hopefully we are eradicating those weeds, so I think what we'll do is once we get to the end here, we'll have a little look. Yeah, I think it is. So, you can see the weeds here, Matt. And if we look out here... I can't see any weeds. Maybe because of the size and that. The actual data showing is perhaps... Yeah. I think mean, once we get another pass done, I am sure it will show... Hopefully? How about here? Oh yeah, see, so... We are eradicating those weeds, so... That's a good thing, at least at least we're doing something useful. And yeah, this is going to take the rest of the day, I think, so... Wait me till March when we get these harvesting contracts done. But we've got until about 4 o'clock in March to get these contracts done before we have to pay another grand that because it's a grand per field per month. Since we leased the combine in that, or borrowed the combine, around about four o'clock, so should be fine. But anyways, let's get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So if we have a look, 
we spent time reading, and actually, in fairness, we got most of it done on the first pass. Like, I was trying to do it as precise as possible. Also, there was a couple of trips we missed, so I just spent some extra time on, yeah, just pretty much just getting all these eradicated. There are a couple of small little spots of grown weeds. I'm guessing that must be from the previous crop and that, I'm not sure. But anyways, we are here because we're going to sell our two and a half meter plow. Because I have bought a new one that is slightly bigger and a lot cheaper. That's cost, what, five grand initially for us? But I think not sure how much we can get for this, so we've repaired it and repainted it. So we can get from that five grand, we can get four for ninety-five pounds back. And we're doing this because one the bigger plow is better because we've accepted a contract for field eighty-nine. That is a huge field. So yeah, well, it's it's pretty much a little. It's a simple plow in that. Rather than have like massive rippers on it, it's these little fine prongs and that, and because these are small prongs, the tractor should be able to manage them, because the last one, the recommended specs was like, what, 100 horsepower? And at most our tractors have 80 horsepower. At some point, we will be looking at a new tractor now of around, we'll try to aim around 100 to 120 horsepower. Ideally, if you get 150 horsepower, then that'd be fine for us long term. Anyway, so we've got all the stuff over here ready. So we're going to hire a worker once again. So I think it's going to be worth it. The Colvin contract we did in the last episode when we hired a worker was worth it, so why not a plow contract? So. Go. Get a work underway on that. Because yeah, if we have a look at the contract, so go up here. This plan contract is going to be worth eight thousand four hundred pounds, and obviously it will require a lot of money spent on that. But the workers should be fine for that. So there we go. And you turn on the combine. And we will do the harvesting. So, alrighty then. We will get this done. So it's going to take us some time now, I know. But I generally think it's going to be worth it. And if we look at our chickens, actually, how are they doing? Because I am concerned about the food consumption. So, what? It's like 12 hours or so, give or. Yeah, just over 12 hours, they consume 200 a year or so. 400 years a month they require, so 12 months that is 4,800 years. So let's say 5,000 years to be safe. We've just given them 1,200 years, so I think we're going to have enough left over from the barley fields. Yeah, we should have enough left over to get the yeah, chickens fed for a year. That's what I think to do is round summer now. I think if we, once we do the soybean fields, if we say do meat and meat or barley, yeah, we can do oats now or sorghum. I think if we do, that field there is pretty big, 53 and 52 now. There are big fields now. So compared to our equipment scale, they are huge, so we can divide those fields, so let's say, so if we can, if we do let's say sorghum and that, sorghum or oats, they take about four months to grow. Can't feed the chickens the oats, but sorghum would be a good money crop for us. And then on the other half of the field, we can look at doing wheat, that wheat, barley, I think they 
car like six or seven months to grow, so just by then, when we harvest it, we'll have enough in storage for the chickens. And by then as well, it'll be a good price to sell the meat, so yeah, I think overall it is looking good. So my first pass was 23%. So yeah, I think four passes is required, so not too bad. And yeah, this will take us a while, so I think what we'll do is let's do a little time lapse. It's only going to be a short one, and then what I'll do is, I'll just go to see what I'm working on, I'll put some tunes on in that, listen to the local radio station. Of course, yeah, I've got a radio here somewhere, yeah. This is some tunes in that, or some popular hits from the time. And yeah, just crack on, get this done, get both feels done, and then, yeah, we should see folks. I guess afternoon or an evening. We're at the moment. They're on our way, we're gonna come back down. How's that contract doing? Not even one percent yet, so the workers got up here work to do. I mean, why is it saying one percent? Surely that is at least 1%. Oh, looks like we're going to have issues with this contract. Yeah, it says we don't have access to the land. Ignore that, because our voice to worker wouldn't be able to do it. I think it's just because we're doing this on a multiplayer server. So, if we turn on these plowing. Right, so wait a minute. Why is that? Is that not a plow? So ah, dang it! It's a cultivator. But why is it letting us then touch the field? Because let's say go over. Here. Yeah, I didn't have access to that. Well, if I try to work on field not owned, fair enough. Go over here. Let's go to yeah the barley field. Does this should be the same situation? Ah, right then. So. Looks like we have cocked up there a little bit, so yeah, plows. Okay, two and a half meter plow. Yeah, I've cocked up there. Fair enough, that's my bastard. Looks like we're gonna have to sell this and oh, great. But yeah, so I was wondering why. Because it says it's a subsoil there, right? So yeah, should be able to, yeah. Now in that with it, like that's what we was using before. What about these big ones here? Like, ooh, 120 horsepower though. 150 for that, because yeah, that's what we're got at the moment. That is two and a half meters, because. Yeah, we was using these, the chisel. So, all right, fair enough. Let's go and buy this. It's two and a half meters, same as before. Bigger rippers than that, so let's try that. So let's try this then. Hopefully it should work, because it's an actual plow. There we go. And we're getting that plowing texture, so... Fair enough. We'll leave our guy here. Good tune on the plowing. Yep, two and a half meters working with. Not too bad. I'm still technically made more money back compared to swapping out the plows and that, so... Overall, it's not a loss for us, so yeah. 
as I was saying, this gets done, and I'll see folks, maybe, I guess, get this and both fields done. I'll say around the afternoon, maybe into the evening. There we go, now we're working. So yeah, I'll get us all done, and see you folks afterwards once we're done here. And there we go, we are done, so let's get this contract completed, everything sold, so yeah that is £2,400, so yeah we was going to sell the barley but I thought we still making profit from it, because at the moment we're selling barley for £1,044 per thousand euros, these bags of pig, not pig food, chicken feed, is a thousand pounds for a thousand years equivalent so I thought check it buy some but yeah that is all the free contracts now completed so if we go over here bam 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 that plan contract was worth it because we only charge had to pay what in total for the month about two grand for a thousand years thousand there's two grand overall that's including the little mistake we had earlier on so yep yeah, doing that contract with the worker was worth it obviously if he's gonna do it now in the evening they do charge more of a premium for night work don't beep at me yeah even then still worth it I think especially doing cultivation or yeah. But yeah, also we bought a new trainer, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Let's turn these off. A bit of rackiness, so yeah. Bought a trainer, what was that? 11,000 years that holds? So yeah, if we look at the prices of everything, so... 
go to our old trader. There's only a small one here. So yeah, it was that one there, 8,000 years. And the one we've got is this one. That is all for forage, so we've got this one. 11,000 years for four and a half grand. And actually, I do wonder, is there a hitch on the back or anything? There is. So potentially, just looking at that, looking at that. I don't see a reason why we can't double this up, you know, have a tandem. Especially if we're looking at doing potatoes or something. Definitely be worth it though. But yeah, so now, we can't do any more contracts this month. Because as per our rule, only three contracts a month, so... Let's skip ahead till tomorrow. Field doesn't need to do anything. Grass is fine. So... Skip to 9 o'clock. And in fairness, if anything, the only thing that needs to do is... Fertilising the... All rain at the moment. Crap. The only thing that needs to do is fertilising the grass field. So yeah, if we have a look here... Let the map update itself. Soybeans are approaching... No, it's always at its final stage yet. It's got still another couple of months yet. But yeah, if we turn on our fertilised... Yeah, grass field needs to fertilise in. So yeah, we can do that in the next episode, I think, for now. We're at a good spot, we're up to 24 grand now, so... Can I have a look at... Go for a new field. Or... A new tractor. Because how much can we sell... Either of our tractors for, so... Deutz for 13 grand. I do want to keep that, though. I think it's saying this, the Fiat... So that's eight grand, so three grand for a new tractor, so do have some options, so having a look here. Go with the John Deere forty three twenty. But if you want that extra horsepower, that is forty five grand. Just looking at the others. 59 grand for that, for 150 horsepower. Yeah, it is. 190 horsepower for 100 grand. Ooh. What about this? 108 horsepower for 41 grand. That would be ideal, and it's four wheel drive. But I'll just want to something with a front linkage system. If we get a something with a front three point linkage system, that'd be ideal, but better accept your choosers and yeah. Have to figure out in the next episode. But anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider but for to do, hope you're a nice day. But for now, it's me from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.